Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back. All right, let's look at the news. Let's see what fun budget challenges they present to us today. Member in parliamentary finance every day in a near day in the node of the budget is expected and the date of its approval is expected. A member of the parliamentary finance committee expected a new date for voting on the fiscal budget for 21. In important news, you can find an offer at news channel. Every day a new node appears in the budget news stressing the continuing disagreements over the budget bill between the political blocks. The budget will be approved this week, he added. Yesterday, Sunday, House of Representatives failed to vote on the 21 budget despite the reports of an agreement on the Kurdistan's region share. A representative source told Euphrates News that despite the disagreement on the share of the Kurdistan budget, which was the budget not, the difference is moved to other materials such as contracts, job grades, dollar exchange rate, the displaced, and the reconstruction of devastated areas. The budget is estimated at 128 trillion dinar against a deficit of 29 trillion dinar. Parliamentary finance reveals new details about the obstructive budget law. Shafak News, the Parliamentary Finance Committee revealed on Monday the main reason to postpone the vote on the general budget law until further notice. A member of the committee told Shafak News that there are four points of disagreement that caused the suspension of the vote on the general budget law for 21 during yesterday's session. Most notably, some points of contention in Article 11 related to the share of the Kurdistan region's foreign loans, investment projects, and development of regions. He added Al Fatah, the alliance object to new loans amounting to 8 trillion dinar, especially for projects of the Ministry of Electricity and requested economic feasibility for foreign loans. Al Shabiki added that the deputies asked the Minister of Oil in his capacity as head of the Government Energy Committee for a foreign government guarantee to improve electric power during the next summer season. Al Shabaki pointed out that the continuation of meetings to resolve differences and resolve disputed issues in the coming hours. Representative Sheikh Dallaire said that during the intentions and conflicts of politicians with the, with the government are an obstacle to passing the budget in Parliament. In a statement received by Shafiq News, Sheikh Dallaire called for the importance of Iraqi people knowing the fact, saying that the region's share does not constitute an obstacle in passing the budget. So they brought you something interesting in the article in that top paragraph right there. They basically told you on Monday the main reason to postpone the vote on the general budget law until further notice. So they're it's I don't we don't know if they've canceled out the budget this year. We'll have to see what how that plays out. But anyway, they're in this article they're saying the budget's on hold until further notice. Next article. An upcoming meeting between Barzani and Emmanuel Macron from France. In response to an official visit from Emmanuel Macron, the President of the French Republic, Netron Barzani, President of the Kurdistan region of France, will visit and meet tomorrow, Tuesday, March 30th, at the Elysee Palace in Paris with President Macron. During their meeting, the two presidents will discuss ways to develop relations between Kurdistan and Iraq with France. The situation in Iraq, the Kurdistan region, the region in general, and the COVID-19 epidemic and its implications, the dangers of terrorism and the tasks of the international coalition, the importance of cooperation and participation of all parties in the face of ISIS, as well as a set of other issues of interest to both sides, according to a statement by the region's presidency. There you guys go. There's some daily news for you or some morning news. Take care, guys, and have a great day.